Hey everyone, how are you going today? Um, lots of lights, that's good. I can't see a single face, that's great. Very interactive. Kind of uh, fits in really well with uh, what I'd like to talk about um, this afternoon. Like it is really bright up here, this is crazy. Okay, I, I'd re <laughs> sorry guys. Um, I really want to talk to, to you guys and share an idea I've, um, I've been thinking a lot about recently about power and learning. Okay, so I want to kind of talk about power as an ability to influence others, okay, and, and yourself. And what I'd like to kind of argue is that without a sense of power, without uh, a feeling that you can influence the world around you, it's very difficult to learn. It's very difficult to develop your understanding about the way knowledge works in the world. Um, and I think, like, when we look at traditional models of teaching, for example, where a teacher is standing up the front and lecturing to a whole bunch of people, they can't necessarily see them, reminds me of something, not sure what, uh, there's a certain power dynamic, right? The person at the front has all of the power, okay? They have the ability to influence those in the audience, right? Um, you guys are, sadly, pretty powerless in this scenario. So you might listen in to the things that I'm saying, um, but you might not necessarily process them and understand them in a, in a deep and meaningful way as they relate to you. Um, so anyway, I, I think we should probably question that dynamic because it's not, it's not good for deep learning and deep understanding. Um, basically, I started thinking about this uh, a few years ago, and I think this is the reason why they got me to speak today, because I used to work in juvenile detention, which is uh, basically like a prison for uh, young people. Um, anyway, um, all of the kids there, I was a teacher there, not a guard or, a, you know, a prisoner. Um, <laughs> Just in case, um, I was a teacher there, and there's a there's a school embedded in the um, centre, and the kids there were obviously, I think it's pretty obvious, were extremely disengaged with learning. Um, they had no real uh, desire to be there, and there was a lot of hostility towards me as the teacher, as the authority figure, um, and a lot of hostility to learning generally. Um, I had to think about it and I was, uh, when I considered it more and more, I thought maybe this isn't because these kids are generally, you know, uh, lacking in ability or they're not curious like every other human being about how things work. Maybe it's about power. Maybe it's about that feeling of powerlessness. Um, and so I had to think about some of their histories and, and did a bit of talking to people and, and realised that maybe these kids had actually, in the context of the classroom, felt very powerless. That they had never really um, had any, any sense that they could influence the world around them. In the context of the classroom, they felt um, stupid, I guess, or uh, at least that it would reinforce, they'd get marks back that were, were poor, um, they would be known as troublemakers and that would spread through, through a school. Um, as a result, they developed this power dynamic with the school, the institution, that essentially this place makes me feel powerless. Because this place makes me feel powerless, anything associated with this place is not for me. Which became a bit of a problem when we're trying to learn because, as you guys know, learning is not the same thing as schooling. Okay, to learn about the world is not uh, a necessary component of schooling. You could go your entire uh, life through, through the school system and not really learn very much. Okay? Um, so, anyway, I tried to, tried to think about this dynamic and how I could shift this dynamic, how I could make these kids feel a bit powerful. So, um, I tried a couple of things, like... Um, <laughs> So we'd be sitting down and they'd be working on something on paper um, and very small classes, great, great class size, six, six kids to, to one teacher, which is nice. Um, and so they'd be sitting here and I'd, I'd be sitting there and I'd just make sure that every time we were going through uh, a writing task or whatever, I'd stick my head straight down on the desk. Um, so I was kind of underneath them and below, below them. 
And so as they're working through, I'm not in a position of authority over them. I was kind of just there and I'd like point at stuff and I'd never li really lift my head. I know it looks a bit funny. I should probably face you guys. Uh, and I'd be kind of like pointing at things and, you know, ask them a few questions like, oh, what does this mean? And that type of thing. Um, anyway, that, that actually worked pretty well, surprisingly. Um, I, tried, I tried a couple of other things. Um, like, for example, like threats of violence were pretty common. Um, and I, I tried to tie that into power. So I'm like, well, they feel powerless. Uh, they're trying to gain a sense of power. Okay, so they want to influence the situation. So they're going for something that works. You threaten violence, you're going to be able to influence that person, right? You're going to have some power. Now, the expectation is that that person who's being threatened is going to say, uh, either be, become very fearful and withdraw, or they're going to um, retaliate and meet aggression with aggression, okay, and escalate the situation. In either scenario, power, a power dynamic is, is occurring. So what I tried to do, which was a bit funny at first, but it worked extremely well, was every time I'd get threatened, which, you know, happened a fair bit at the start, but it did uh, stop after a while, after I tried this, I would pretend that the kid was joking. Like, there was a total... Um, they totally meant to, to just kid around. So, you know, I'm going to do this to you. Would I'd respond with, ah, um, oh, that's good, that's a good joke. <laughs> now, let's go back to this. And every single time, instead of escalating the situation or, uh, you know, feeling that sense of power, like I've intimidated this individual, you know, I've intimidated this teacher, I'm successful, they'd go with it. They'd go, oh, yeah, 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 I was just... Just, just joking with you, that's, that's fine. So, <laughs> that worked too, surprisingly. So again, this is like an extreme environment um, and a, a, a power dynamic that's quite extreme. But how does it maybe relate to, to this school in this, this context? Like right now, I'd, I'd like to ask you, but it's so hard to see you, and I reckon everyone's pretty hungry, and I'm the last speaker before you're about to eat, so maybe I'll just keep that to a minimum. But I think, I think basically what I'd like to advocate for, even in this context, is that we need to be more aware of power and power dynamics within our classroom. We need to be, as teachers, we need to be somewhat aware of how power is distributed, and it kind of works a little bit like a zero-sum game in that for uh, students to feel powerful, we as teachers have to give up a bit of our power. We have to make them or students able to influence the situation, be able to influence the way a lesson progresses or the way um, content is delivered. Okay? Um, I think if we can think about... Um, think about the way that, that power is distributed and hopefully redistribute it a bit so that um, students can feel like they have some say in the process, then they'll actually be empowered to make some difference in the world. So, I hope that makes sense to everyone. Um, <laughs> I really do. Um, and I was, I was going to say something really corny at the end. Um, it's the end. You can eat soon. Don't worry. Um, and I'm still going to say it. So, so the school motto, motto is, is knowledge is power, right? And, and I think over the years, we've, we've watered that down a bit to um, using knowledge to make a powerful difference in the world. Great. Okay. But, but what I'd like to, to kind of put a spin on it, that, that power is knowledge, that with a sense that we can change um, the world, that we can change, sorry, our dynamic, our immediate surroundings, and that we have some influence over our immediate context, it'll give everyone a feeling that they can influence the world around them and make a positive difference. Thanks. <laughs>